Bonjour! Welcome to another episode of Cuisine de Michel. I am Michel. So today I'm going to do a baking episode and I'm going to be trying a recipe from sallysbakingaddiction.com. I've tried many of her recipes, really, really like them. So I'm sure this one's probably going to be fabulous as well. This is the chocolate chip cookie layer cake. Mm, sounds good, right? So we're going to start, I've already preheated the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And then we're going to be mixing up some dry ingredients. I've already measured out 375 grams of all-purpose flour into uh, this medium bowl. That's about three cups. If you're measuring it that way, make sure you're spooning in and leveling off. I prefer by weight. To this, we're going to add two teaspoons of cornstarch. one teaspoon of baking soda, and one teaspoon of regular table salt. See that cornstarch was kind of stuck to my bowl there, so I'm gonna get that out. Once you got all those in, we're just gonna whisk those together. And then set that aside. Next, we're going to be creaming our butter and sugar. So we're going to be using one cup of butter, that's two sticks, One cup of packed light brown sugar. You could also use dark brown, she said in the recipe. And one half cup of granulated sugar. And then we're gonna set this to slow at first and then we're going to be beating it together until it becomes light and fluffy. We are now ready to go to the next step because we beat this. You can see that it's light and fluffy now. We're going to be adding in two eggs, large eggs I should say, at room temperature. And then two and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract I should say. I just assume everybody knows that that's what it is. And then we're going to set that to beat for one minute until it's well combined. All right, so now we've mixed in the eggs and the vanilla. We're going to be starting to mix in our dry reserved uh, mix that we put together just before this. So I'm just going to put in a little at a time to start with and mix that in at low speed until all of it is combined. Okay, so now that we have that mixed together, we're going to be adding in the chocolate chips. We have, we're going to do two cups of mini semi-sweet morsels. And she says to use the mixer at low speed to combine this in. And it won't take much. <laughs> so you can see it's in the dough now. So the next step is going to be putting it in the pans. So I've already prepared some six inch pans over here. I have these six inch pans and I have greased the pan 
and I've lined it with parchment paper. Now we actually need five total. I don't own five total and the recipe she said the same thing. She only has three. I'm gonna start off with the three that I have. So I'm gonna be dividing my dough up into five pieces, but I'm gonna cook three to start with and then do another batch. Okay, so I've divided these up into five, hopefully mostly even balls. I just wanted to give you a, si a size comparison here. It's probably, I would compare it to the size of in between a baseball and a softball. So for each one of these, I'm going to put them in here. As I said, this has already been greased and the parchment lining has also been greased. So we're gonna pat that in there. And it's fairly easy to get it patted out in there. All right, so now I've got all three of them ready. I'm going to put them in the oven. And then we're going to bake them for 20 minutes. And after the 20 minutes, we'll check them and see it's supposed to be that it comes out with the toothpick almost clean. It's not like when you bake a cake where it has to come out totally clean. She said almost clean. So we'll check them after the 20 minutes. All right, so I actually end up baking these for 22 minutes. And as you can see, they are, um, done of course but they're starting to sink a little in the center but that's okay we are going to leave them in the pan to cool for 10 minutes and after the 10 minutes we're going to invert them onto the wire rack and let them cool the rest of the way and then i'm going to bake the other two layer okay so the cookies that we baked have been resting now. They're nice and cool, so it's time to make some frosting. Yes, they're resting right there. <laughs> Don't they look great? So we're going to be making some frosting for them now. This is just my own uh, homemade frosting version that I learned from my mom. And uh, there, there's no specific recipe for this, so I have no amounts to offer you. So this is prime example why a video is better because then I can kind of show you. So there's a mound of powdered sugar already in the bowl. You can kind of see how much there is. And I may have to adjust this as I go, I don't know. So then I'm gonna put in some butter flavor Crisco. I like that. Maybe a little more. Not a lot more, but we got a lot, a lot in here. Probably about the right amount. And then, I'm gonna put that down. I'm going to put in a splash of milk, a good splash of milk, <laughs> a little tiny bit of salt, some almond extract, and some vanilla extract. And then we're gonna get this mixing up until it becomes a texture that's like frosting. So we may have to put a little bit of milk in as we go, depending on the texture that it comes out. Okay, so I ended up having to add about another cup or so of powdered sugar in, and now you can see the result. Got some really nice frosting here. It's got a good texture so that it's spreadable, that it's not just going to melt off of the uh, cake as we frost it, or cookie cake as we should say. So I'm gonna go ahead and frost that cake, and then I'll show you the final result. Okay, so I finished frosting the cake. I do have a confession that I did cut off some cookie scraps. I wanted to make each layer level. I didn't do it on the first level and I ended up having to use a lot more frosting because there's a little bit of a, a lip at the edge of each uh, cookie. So that is cut off for the upper layers. But anyway, uh, it looks really great. I've already tried a little bit of the cookie itself and it's fabulous. And uh, so we'll be cutting this up and you'll see the cut up shot on the thumbnail. 
So again, thank you for joining me for another episode of Cuisine de Michel. Please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Au revoir.